One of the great things about Tata Steel is the opportunities it presents to young people coming into the organisation to get involved in fantastic projects. And so it is with Blast Furnish 5 Life Extension. We're joined today by Rob Lewis. Rob is a graduate mechanical engineer. He's working in projects and design uh, department. Uh, Rob, uh, tell us how you got into Tata Steel in the first place. What were you doing at university? Uh, so I studied mechanical engineering at uh, Swansea University where I got my bachelor's. Um, I then continued on to do uh, an MSc by research, uh, which was actually linked with uh, the Zodiac line in Llanwyn, which then bled nicely into this job. So you've literally been on the ground less than a year and all of a sudden uh, you're involved in the Blast Furnish 5 project. Is that why you joined the company, for that sort of opportunity? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, I, like, I like a challenge and I've been really thrown into the deep end here and I just want to take this opportunity with both hands, really. And I know you're working with Ruhar, who's also one of the leads on the project, but what specifically is it that you're involved in in the Blast Furnace 5 project? Uh, so I'm a member of the Furnace Proper team. Um, we're sort of responsible for all the mechanical works that's uh, going on in the Furnace Proper. So things like the shell replacement in the stack region, um, repairs local to both tap holes, as well as various repairs going on around the top cone area. And we're also responsible for all of the enabling works that allow us to carry out these repairs. So things like uh, installing monorails, lifting beams and uh, some of the safety decks that you can see behind us here today. So behind us we can see some of those pieces that are going into the furnace. Can you describe what we're standing in front of here, Rob? Uh, yes, yeah, so right behind us here is our lower safety deck. So the main um, use for this deck is essentially to separate works going on in the hearth region and works above uh, in the shell replacement region. The other safety deck further behind then is what we call the gondola. So this is a moving deck that can suspend up and down the furnace on the chains. Um, so initially this will be uh, entered in through the bottom of the furnace through the 4 by 4 meter door that will be cut in around the tarp hole. Um, we'll in put a brock machine onto this, uh, onto this gondola and then lift it up to help with the wrecking uh, of the top cone, uh, throat armour and stack refractories. Um, once finished wrecking, the gondola will then be used um, as a fixed deck at the top of the furnace just below the throat armour. This can then be used to scaffold off of um, to allow us to uh, carry out the repairs to the throat armour and various other repairs in the top cone area. So when you were studying hard at Swansea University, did you have any idea that you'd be involved in what is probably the largest uh, investment project in Tata Steel Europe this year? Uh, no, definitely not. Um, as soon as I started and I told I was on the Blast Furnace project, uh, I soon discovered uh, what a big undertaking that would become. Uh, the sort of opportunity is really uh, good for someone like me. So as a young uh, engineer coming into the organisation, what would you say to other youngsters who are currently in university and looking at Tata Steel as a potential employer? Uh, well, I would definitely recommend joining a company like Tata Steel. Um, I've had nothing but a pleasant experience since being here. It offers great opportunities to all, um, such as myself, being on a, on a project of this size. And that's one thing that I've enjoyed most working here, is just the variety of the work. Um, it's really helped me uh, develop as an engineer. So there's a huge number of people working on the project, but lots of youngsters gaining a huge amount of experience as well and bringing their academic knowledge and learning off some of the senior operators and engineers on the project. Uh, a lot of work to do, but with people like Rob on board, uh, it's uh, looking good for the future. Rob, thanks very much for your time. Cheers, Tim.